Hi, well, welcome to the 25th episode of the New England Gal Knits podcast. I am Janet and I live in Massachusetts with my husband, our two boys, our cat and our dog. You can find me on a Ravelry and Instagram at the New England Gal. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. And if you're a new viewer, welcome to the podcast. I hope you enjoy it. I have quite a bit <laughs> of different projects going on to share with you that I've been doing over the last few weeks. It's a lot of little projects and I think my attention has been really, really short because I have been jumping from project to project and getting a little bit done here and a little bit done there and not quite, I have two finished objects, but there were other things that I could have finished that I didn't feel like working on, but I will explain that later. And I guess I'll start off with what I am wearing. So I am wearing my Tecumseh sweater. This is a pattern by Caitlin Hunter of Boylan Knit. Um, and I, I love the sweater. I love the way it turned out. I knitted it out of a Madeline Tosh uh, Twisty K. It is soft, it is cozy, it is nice and squishy. I have been wearing this non-stop since I finished it and I am later on in Dream Knitting going to talk about my plans for knitting another one of these. I just, I love the three quarter length sleeves, just everything about this sweater is perfect. So I'll get into a little later on about my plans for my next one because that's already in the works. But highly, highly recommend this pattern. I absolutely love it. And it was a quick knit. I had it done, I think, within three weeks. So it just flew right off the needles. So let me get into my finished objects. And actually, my first one, you'll probably recognize the yarn from what I'm wearing. But I finished, this is the Camilla hat. And it's a brioche hat, so I use this with some leftover, I knit this with some leftover yarn for my Tecumseh sweater, and you should see the pile of stuff I have in front of me. Let me find, here we go. So this one is the Good Silence, and again, this is Madeline Tosh Twist a DK, and the color is Good Silence. And this one is Madeline Tosh Twist DK as well. And this is in the Evil Eye color. And I am very pleased with the way this hat came out. I have to say the shape of hat does not look good on me. However, the colors in the shape I think will be perfect for my sister-in-law. So I think in my last episode I had said that I am not doing any Christmas knitting, I put too much pressure on myself, and then I wait to the last minute and then I knit everything. Well, I put together a list and I've decided I'm going to do small little knit Christmas gifts for everybody. So I've decided this will be for my sister-in-law. She's got blue eyes and blonde hair and I just, I think the colors in this hat would look stunning on her. So that is my plan. So I can go ahead and put this in my Christmas gift basket. One down, I'm working on another Christmas gift that I'll show you in whips and then I have a whole list of other things to do. But I'm gonna stick with hats and fingerless mitts and quick, easy knits for my Christmas gifts. So for my second finished object, I've been doing a lot of yoga lately and I've been going about four times a week and here in Massachusetts it's turning really cold very quickly, especially after the sun sets and I normally go at 7.30 at night, the temperature drops. So because I have a lot of capri leggings and I do not have a lot of long pants, I decided to knit myself a pair of leg warmers, and here they are, and these are actually yoga socks, and it's a Free Lion brand pattern. I knit these, believe it or not, they're the same color, the same dye lot. They are Gina by Plymouth Yarn, and the color is 0004. 
in their 50 gram skeins. So they were gradient and unfortunately the balls didn't even come close to matching. I'm pretty sure yeah if you look here this is kind of where they line up. If it, So they look completely different. I'm not crazy about the way they look and how completely different they are. They do not look like a matching set. However, for now, they're keeping my legs warm, so they're doing what they're supposed to do, and eventually I'll knit myself another pair. I have a couple other pairs in my library and also in my favorites that I'm going to take a look at. And do another pair that actually matches. So that is it for my finished objects. For my works in progress, I'll actually start with, I have three half finished objects. I could have actually had two more finished objects had I actually concentrated on them. So I have a couple pairs of socks that are they're almost done. So here is the first pair. So uh, this is a knit out of a Luna Pearl in her Atomic Mermaid color. And the heel is a Lion brand. I think it's the Sockies and it's just the natural color. I don't know what the number is. But I have, if I can find it here, just the heel left on this one to put in. So hopefully this weekend, along with one more heel, I can go ahead and get these done. But I love these. I love how bright and colorful they are. I have plenty left over. Here they are in the cake. That I think I'm going to knit my um, youngest niece something for Christmas out of these, whether they're a hat maybe, a hat and then matching socks I should have enough because she's, I'm using my fingers, she'll be about eight months old at Christmas time so I probably have enough to make a pair of socks and a hat for her out of these this leftover and this is such a bright cheery fun color it'll be perfect for the middle of winter just to brighten things up so almost done those and then for my second half finished object is a pair of shorty socks i had started a while ago and this is yarn by dark waves in the sun coast colorway and here is through. I should have had these all laid out nicer. Here's the second one. Again, it just needs a heel. There, there's no excuse. It should have been done. So I will work on these this weekend. I may. So one child is already at a school fun night out in town. The other one I'm actually going to have to leave and come back and finish filming. I'm dropping him off in about 15 minutes to his uh, teen, night, teen night out at the middle school. So maybe when I get home, I'll throw on the Red Sox game. Yay, third game of the World Series. They're up to zero against the LA Dodgers. Go Sox! But I'll probably throw the game on and maybe pump those out so this way they're done. They have been waiting for heels for about a month and a half, two months, and it's really sad and there's no excuse. So I think that's what I'll do. Sit down in front of the Red Sox game and enjoy getting those done and cheer on the Red Sox. And then, so these have been floating around, not in a project bag, but here in my Dobby project bag and this is by Lila Styles. I have in here another half finished object. I've been on a oh, 
kick where I haven't really finished as much as I could have. But here is what I have. So these are a pair of worsted weight socks and I have, I should have grabbed the book that I use. Hold on one second. All right, I'm back. So I have bought this book when I wanted to start knitting socks and this is my reference. I use this all the time, especially when working with different weights of yarn so I know how many stitches and what size needle I should look for. So this is Getting Started Knitting Socks by Ann Budd. And I use this as a reference all the time. I love it. So I basically use this to figure out the number of stitches and the needle. And this is um, Patton's Worsted, Classic Worsted. And the tan is Heath Heather. The white is Aaron, and the red is, I think it's something really simple. Watch it, it's like bright red. I knew it was simple. So, and I'm just doing the legs a two by two. I did a heel flap and a gusset, and then I just did um, the toe in the cream as well to match the heel, and I put the red stripe in there. I had seen it on, um, I'm going to get the name backwards. It's Hands Needle Wool, Wool Needle Hands. I'll put it correctly right across here because I can't keep them straight, but I saw it on her podcast. She's an amazing podcaster. Um, if you haven't checked it out, I definitely go over and check Taylor out because she is amazing and she does these great segments uh, like knitting in the news and she's very informative. So go check her out. But I saw a pair of socks very similar to this that she had done and decided to do them. Well, I was going to do them for myself. However, my younger son saw them and wanted them and they fit him. So I'm done one. It took me a day to get this done so I have one more to do for him and then I'll knit myself a pair as well. They're nice and soft and cozy and these will be just sleeping socks around the house type socks just to keep warm especially in the winter time. It's nice to have. Well actually I don't sleep with socks on. I cannot sleep with socks on. I think that it's funny because some people swear by it and have to sleep with socks on all the time. Some don't. I am in the I cannot 100% sleep with any socks on. Whereas my two kids love sleeping with socks. So um, probably for Christmas time too I'll make my older son a pair of socks too and they'll be good too. They do a lot of camping and even in the winter time with the Boy Scouts, they do rent cabins with the Boy Scouts in the winter, but the heat's not, it's not always heated. It's protected from the elements, but not always heated. So it'll be good to have a nice thick pair of wool socks for when they go camping. And that is it for my half finished objects. I am going to pause here, drop my son off, at the tea night out and I will be back. This is going to be a very, very pieced together, messy podcast, so bear with me. All right, I am back from dropping off my oldest at tea night out. I have two more knitting works in progress to share with you. So let me, I'm going to share my sock whip right now with you and it is not the one I showed you at the last podcast. I am a few more rows into it but not quite enough to show. But right now I have the uh, pair of socks. This is just in a diptyque drawstring bag that I had gotten with an order from them a while ago. But I am knitting a pair of socks for my younger brother who is, these are going to be the biggest pair of socks I have ever knit. He is, he has a size 14 foot. He's six feet four inches tall. He's 
massive. It's funny, both my brothers, so my younger brother is 6'4", my older, ah, uh, older, he's older by one minute, my twin brother is a 6'3", and somehow I got none of the height and I'm at 5'4", so I am very, very small compared to the rest of my family. Anyways, here is what I have I started on these and I did the math on these and these are 76 stitches on a, these are US 1 but they're Addies, um, so they're not the 2.25 millimeters, they were 2.5 millimeter. I went with the larger needle just so, I, I can't even imagine if I went down a needle size if I already have 76 stitches on the sock how long this would take me and honestly to me this looks huge but my twin brother also knits and I was up visiting him last weekend which is where I got the majority of this done and he's knitting a pair of socks and I measured the width against his because they're about the same size and these were right on so at least I know they'll fit and they're the right size and they won't be too tight but I am knitting these out of Felici in the ice cream truck color this is Knit Picks and he picked out the color it was funny I was picking out all these masculine colors and he's like I want blues, whites, and purples so I saw this one I'm gonna show you my face make sure my little Mulan's facing here I picked this one out and he saw it and he's like that is exactly what I want so I am working on these and I've kept my progress keeper um, in here when I was at my brother's my brother my brother-in-law and I were watching the greatest showman so this is what I knit during the greatest showman and I got quite a bit done during the weekend and it was funny because I didn't do a whole lot of knitting on this this weekend I was when I went there my niece is being I don't know who she's being it's somebody from how to train your dragon one of the dragon riders but she the character has these knitted gauntlets so what I did was I went to their local yarn store and I picked up some Plymouth Encore yarn and I crocheted real quickly some gauntlets for her for her Halloween costume. So that's what I spent basically the weekend there doing and then I worked on the sock in between. So that is it for all the socks. So like I said, hopefully those half finished objects will be done the next time. I talk to you guys because like I said it's really pathetic I just have the heels to do and I've been too lazy to do them so for my last work in progress it is being housed in this holiday pearl and plum a polar bear bag it is I'm not in the holiday not that I'm not it's I know it's early for the holiday season however this project I have started and frogged and started and frogged this project so many times and at the end of last year I literally threw it in this bag and threw it downstairs and didn't want to look at it but I decided to pull it back out um, and give it another go and this is what it was in so this is what I'm staying in actually it's funny I've got the Christmas bag yet yeah, it is a fall project. So these are the Pumpkin Spice Mittens by Scandia Knits. And here is what I have so far. And here is the front of it. And here is the back. And I love this because it has the little pumpkin on the back there. And I'm very pleased with the way this is coming out. I kept when I kept knitting it the tension was the gauge was so tight and it was so small I've loosened my gauge I went up a needle size so I'm using US 3's and I'm using the Chow Goo's 
nine inch circulars. I was doing the magic loop previously and I was getting ladders or the floats were too tight in the back where the magic loop started. So I'm very, very happy with the way these are coming out so far. And I am knitting these out of Knit Picks palette. I do not know the color. I'm, I have my show notes and I wrote down in my show notes to find out the color before podcasting and I didn't do that. So I'll put it down below. But I'm very pleased with the way it's fitting. I'm hoping that'll even out once I block it. But it's going so much smoother than it did last year. I did make a mistake, there's a stitch here, with the side of the patterns, not what it should be, but I realized probably when I got about here, my mistake in decided it's not worth it. No one but me is going to notice my mistake. And I love the way they look, so I'm going to just make sure I do the same mistake on my second mitten, and this way they'll match. But I'm really, really enjoying these. And here, let me just show you the balls. And I am enjoying and knitting out of the Knit Picks palette. Look at my hair. There we go. <sighs> Shed worse than my dog. So uh, that is it for my works in progress and uh, for knitting. So I am working on one cross stitch. I decided, what, a week before Halloween that I wanted to cross stitch a <laughs> Halloween pattern. There's no way I'm going to get it done this year, but I am enjoying um stitching it and it's getting me in the Halloween mood so this is by Rocking Horse Cross Stitch and it's the a Bewitched pattern and she has an Etsy store and I'll link it down below in the show notes but I have almost one leg done I'm just working on the boot and I've been concentrating this past week really on knitting and so I could have had more of this done I enjoy cross stitching during Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune, especially Jeopardy. It's one of those things you can listen to, you don't have to look at it because I find I really need to pay attention to what I'm doing when I cross stitch. Whereas I can sit and knit a sock and watch something and with the Red Sox games this past week, I've been leaning more towards knitting because I can knit and watch more easily than I can cross stitch and watch something. So that is, I want to say that is all I've been working on, but that has been quite a bit. So that is all of my works in progress. So I did pick up a few things I did want to share. So a couple weeks ago I went with a friend into Salem and there is a yarn store there, Circle of Stitches. So I went there and I picked up a skein of yarn and this is Toil and Trouble and this is the Cadence Space which is her worsted in her Snap Dragon color and I figured this is going to be the perfect hat for my older niece. So my twin brother has a nine-year-old daughter and then my younger brother has a four month old so this is going to be a hat for the nine year old they're in I mentioned I visited them last week and they're in upstate New York so it gets quite chilly so a nice this will be a perfect nice warm hat and this is it's 100% superwash merino and then I randomly was it last weekend or the weekend? No, it was the weekend before Vul and Vine was having an update on a sa Saturday morning. It's her like international update, which is normally at 10 a.m. I went in at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon and there was one skein of 
her Freya colorway on her footsie base and here it is and I'm like what are the chances normally she's sold out within five a minute so for me to go in at three o'clock and see that she still had a skein of yarn left I'm like it was meant to be mine so I ended up picking this up and I love it the rust colors the blue I'm really getting into the muted more natural colors so this is perfect these I think will be a pair of socks that I will cast on sooner rather than later but I have to finish some before I can start some but this won't even be going into my knitting stash this is gonna stay up here and steer me right in the face so that I can get motivated to get these knit I think I want to do a pattern for these but I, I don't know what if anyone wants to suggest a good pattern for a speckled yarn that would be great if you guys could leave a comment below so the last thing I picked up was a cross stitch kit from the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery and here is a picture I tried printing it I have the pattern all printed but for whatever reason the front page was not printing so here I'm hoping you can see that if not maybe I'll try and insert a picture so it is the 12 days of Christmas so I picked up the kit and it came with this eight o'clock that has some glitter I don't know how well you can see that hopefully that's maybe if I take it out of the plastic you can see it better um, So I picked that up. I thought it would be fun. I'm not doing, I didn't pick up a advent calendar. So I thought this would be a cute idea for the first 12 days in December. I could do a day, a day a day. I can do one of the squares each day and then have it done by the 12th of December and then be able to have it up for the rest of the holiday season. So that is my plan for that and then I also just kind of wanted to talk about a couple projects that I'm really excited that I want to do and I've picked up some yarn uh, that I don't have it hasn't come in just yet when I do get it I'll obviously share it but I am picking up yarn to do another Tecumseh sweater and I actually decided to pick up some undyed DK yarn and I'm gonna dye it myself I saw on Instagram a Tecumseh sweater and if you just do hashtag Tecumseh sweater it's in there but it's a navy blue and it has golden crosses and then it has the white cream colored feathers so I'm gonna dye my own yarn to go ahead and make that version of the Tecumseh sweater and the other thing I bought yarn for is for the Lark sweater and this is out of Plain and Simple by Pam Allen now this is all knitted with owl yarn but I ended up picking up the Knit Picks Eco wool and here's what it looks like I love the pockets I love the tunic length and it has the big cozy cowl turtleneck I love the picture of it so I'm going to knit it out of that so I have a feeling as soon as that yarn comes in I am going to cast it on right away so that is all I have to talk to you about knitting so I think I'm going to end the podcast here the socks are coming on in about 10 minutes so I want to make sure I'm ready and cleaned up and are ready to sit down and watch them go socks so anyways I hope you all have a great two weeks ahead bye